well. First day, please open the door. You can't keep yourself locked in forever. Christabel, you'll fall sick if you don't get a hold on yourself. Please, open this door, Bikonu. Christabel, you're making me sick. How can you survive in there without food for days? Open this door. Okay. No problem. You see this door? I am going to get this door down. Just give me one minute. One minute. Mommy, go away. You think I'm joking? Wait for it. What are you doing to yourself? <coughs> you are in here suffering while he enjoys himself with his family. What is what is wrong with you? I don't deserve this. Not one bit. A few days ago. I was to walk down the aisle. <laughs> now I'm in here. Heart broken. You don't have to blame yourself for this. Give the word, Jack, is imprinted in. And the word Jack is imprinted on the faces of most men. Women would tread with caution. <laughs> saw the sign. <laughs> it would have been worse if you had married him and then found out this. <sighs> a wife, two sons and a daughter, mommy was even going to show up at our wedding once he was even to come. Things get expensive these days. Can you imagine that red oil is now twice the amount we used to buy? That reminds me. Mrs. Teresa called asking what to do with the cake. Sweetheart, I know it hurts, but believe me, it is not going to be like this the next time. There will never be a next time. Not for me.
there will be. Come. Wipe your tears. It's all right. There will be a nice time for mommy. Yes. Come here. I wish there was something good about this afternoon. Christine, you're not over me yet. Yet? What do you mean this happened a few days ago? It's easy for everyone to move on so quickly. But I'm the one whose legs got injured in those shoes. Trust me, I do. But I hate to tell you that I told you so. Even though I told you so. Okay. So you think it's best to start yourself because of diabetes? Okay. Good luck to that. I even wonder how she's surviving because... She hasn't tested food in days. <clears throat> what are you doing? Eating the food, of course. Some of us will not have access to so show me food in our homes. So this opportunity. Give me my food. I thought you you were not having me before. Yeah. Oof. What a day. What a day. <laughs> You're so lucky to have DK, you know. Really? <laughs> He's the lucky one to have me. Seems you don't know who your sister is. I'm a classy babe, you know. Hmm, well, I know. But I still think DK is a good guy. And you shouldn't let him off your grip. So, I'm going to be heartbroken without DK. <laughs> Look at this one. You have butterflies in your stomach right there. I know. <laughs> the same way you make Aminat feel. Talking about Aminat, um, she kept calling me while we were on the date. I think I should call her back. You both should be thinking about getting married. You're not getting any of these. Soon. <laughs> you better. Hey, uh, how are you? What's that? Uh, fruits. <sighs> For you. That's been really scarce. 
you smell. I'm happy finally you get another one. You need nothing but a test of gentleness. So lucky with love. I really thought Sunday was the one. Because I thought it in the most embarrassing way. What's worse than that? Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Drop it. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. I know that probably happened for a reason. And but I, I'm, I'm going to be here for you. I'm going to be here always. Never will I leave this song. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Keep it fine. Hey. Hey, Brooke. Guess what? 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 Oh. <laughs> Finally, you have been given a leave from hospital. Oh. That's not it. DK has decided to take me to go meet his family, officially. Wow. Mm -hmm. Look how happy you are. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm, I'm so glad DK makes you this happy. I really wish to make Aminat smile this way. Your girlfriend's name has a way of creeping into every conversation we're having. Wow. Anyways, I'll go pack my bags and look forward to my trip. Why you have a boring weekend to look forward it's to. It's okay. <laughs> I'm used to it. Whatever. The only thing I miss is your food. Oh, lies. You're going to miss the way I always annoy you. Oh, that. <laughs> ah. Thank you. You're welcome. My mom is back. Mommy. Welcome. Thank you. Oh, Clement, how are you? I'm good, ma'am. How are you, ma'am? I'm good. You're welcome. Thank you so much, ma'am. Um, I have to take my leave now. I'll see you. Sure. Okay, take care. <laughs> it's all right. Take care. You see why I told you to go? Bye. But you refused. I know. Bye. Bye. Mom? Hmm? Where's that look? You and this your friend. What's his intention towards you? Clement? Mm. Well, Clement and I are just friends. Just friends? Mm -hmm. It's a good young yeah, friend. Hmm? You better define what is going on between you two. And on time. No, there is nothing to define here. He has a girlfriend and we're just friends, like I said. Clement has a girlfriend? Mm-hmm. Is that so? Yes, Mom. So you are friends with benefits? Mom! Mm-hmm. Who taught you that? <laughs> Mommy, please, we are just platonic friends. Really? Mm-hmm. So, the girlfriend, have you seen her before? Maybe had a date with both of them, spoken to her? No, I've not seen her, and it's their relationship, not mine. And he said she's out of town, so... For how long? Mommy, can we leave this topic? But it's Clement is Mommy, just a friend. it's none of my business. I can't keep involving myself in people's relationship. Please, let's go in. <laughs> I see. <laughs> this kind of friendship. <laughs> Christy. May I come in? Yes. Did you sleep at all? Oh. 
I'm a girl getting married just a few weeks ago. To a girl wallowing in pain. I've been reduced to nothing. People make comments when I walk past. How do I get over this memory? Gradually losing myself. I, I thought you were over him already. You were so cheerful just yesterday. The thoughts invade my mind every single time. Why are men so wicked? Why are they so evil? Sweetheart. I agree that some men have lost their conscience. But the world still has good men out there. No mom. There is no one left. I'll be alone. It's time for you to return to your job. Don't you think so? That's not possible. I'll be made a laughing stock. This is why I didn't encourage it when he asked you to quit your job for marriage. But you wouldn't listen. You were playing an obedient wife to me. I still wouldn't have gone back to my old job if I didn't quit. Get a new one. It will get your heart, mind, everything off this heartbreak. You get to meet new people. And stop this young crying. Hmm? What do you say? Do you? I almost mentioned that to you, like, that's a great idea. I almost mentioned that to you. Mm, I know it's not easy, but one thing, I always tell you to keep it positive. Okay, wait, how about you taking children home tutorials? Come on, I'm suggesting that because you have, you have experience. You, you, you really have enough experience in teaching. It's all right. Um, for me, I think um, better chances will definitely come through. So um, I believe strongly in you. I, I, I know you'll get you know, better chances to come. So just do, do not give up yet. Do not. Put a smile. <laughs> all right. Come on. Bye. Bye. Oh, Jenna, what is wrong with you people? I told you to wash these chairs. Huh? So people will be coming for it later today. Please make sure you do that. It's all right. Good morning, Clement. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. You didn't go to work? Um, Mom, I, I will. I, I came to work at um, Delta the interview. Oh, she, she left already. I seriously, I must have missed her then. Yes. I'm sorry about that. Maybe she didn't remember. That's fine, Mom. Um, I have to take my leave now. It's all right. Thank you, Mom. Yeah. Take care. Do have a nice day. Thank 
Yeah. Ah, that's all right. I messed up big time. I'm sure they won't call me. Mm. Don't worry, it's not a big deal. Even if they don't call you, there will be another chance and you'll do better. I hope so. I really do hope so. Hey, I forgot to tell you. Do you know my mother suspects we're friends with benefits? <laughs> she said because you're always getting me things, you care for me. Look, you better tell your girlfriend to come home. Because I will soon enjoy all her benefits, all those goodies. <laughs> I tell her to come back. I don't know what to say about that, but uh, that's, that's fine. Don't mind my mother. <laughs> You're back. I quit. My life is officially a mess. The interview didn't go well. I saw her. You saw who? Sunday's wife. Apparently she walks out of the place where I went for the interview. I couldn't even wait for it to start. I had to leave. Though she was calling out for me, probably to gloat. It's okay, calm down. Mommy, seeing her today, it's brought back all the memories I've been trying to forget. I know how it feels. It's one step at a time. Just calm down. Hmm? Hey, sis, what's wrong with you? You don't look too happy. How did it go with your illness? Well, it went well just that most of the time they spoke Igbo language. Wait. I felt so bad that I couldn't understand anything they were saying. Wait, you're sad because they spoke their language? I thought probably they didn't like you. They did like me, and they were very welcoming. Wow. Just that, I wish I could understand their language, so I could communicate with their mom. <laughs> but DK should understand that we live the better part of our life in the North, so no one can blame me for anything. But that's not an excuse, Francis. We should know how to speak our language. I'm ashamed of myself. <laughs> oh. Are you not ashamed of yourself? That you can't speak your language? <laughs> Why should I be? I don't, I don't disturb myself with stuff like that. Besides, I know so many languages. So many languages? Come on, Francis. We are talking about real languages, not this computer language. I mean our mother tongue. Computer languages are the real languages. Go and ask other programmers. Oh, please, Francis, be serious. Do you know that you can easily get sold in your language? So, because I cannot speak my language, I have to go hire a tutor to teach me? Come on. You know what? That is a good idea. We need to hire a tutor to teach us. No, don't be ridiculous right now. I'm serious, Francis. We need one. Wait. Are you really considering getting a tutor? <laughs> Please, count me out of it. You know what? I'm going to go and write it in my room and put out a post out there. We need a tutor. Ha, you can't be serious. So unbelievable. This noodles is not even sweet. You can't cook. Ah, uh, why don't you cook it for me?
your book. What's my number on the post outside? Oh, I forgot to tell you. Wait, did, did anyone call you? Why is my number there and not yours? I'm sorry, okay? I just had to put yours there because I may be busy. Perfect excuse. It's not an excuse. You know my work. I may be busy in the theater doing an operation, so I had to put your number there. Moreover, both of us are taking the course. Mm -hmm. You like jokes a lot, but this is not funny. Has anyone called you yet? No, and I pray they don't. Trust me, yeah? Um, it's going to be a great one for you. Are you sure about this? hundred percent. See, the moment I saw it, I, I knew it was for you. And then guess what? It was a lady that I spoke to, meaning that you're going to have a female boss. It's going to be easy for you. Well, this is really surprising. I mean, this is the 21st century. Who still hires a tutor to learn Igbo language? My friend, this is the number. I don't have time for you, whatever you are saying. I need to call my nerves first, please. Come in, nerves care, for, for just a phone call. See, um, see, it was yesterday I saw it, but now people are rushing to call. No, just please, please your own now. Please, 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 just. Mm -hmm, just yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, let's call. Hello? Hello, good afternoon. Who is this, please? Are you okay? You're the one calling me. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm calling with regards to the job vacancy. I was expecting to hear a female voice. Oh, uh, that's my sister, so hold on. I think the people started to call. Hello? Hello, good afternoon. My name is Christabel Obi. I'm calling over the job vacancy. Oh, okay. Um, is this your number? You know what? I'm going to send you the address for the interview. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. You're the tutor? Yes. Tito! That's what I'm talking about. You see? You got it. Got what? I just called and she said she's going to text me the address. It's that for you. It, they've give, see, it's for you. No doubt. But the, the first guy that spoke, he sounded so rude. What's wrong with him? Don't think about the guy. Now you have the job. Do you understand? I'm happy for you now. A bar? Who wants an interview in a bar? Hmm. Mommy? Mm. Would you believe they just texted me the location for the interview? And it's a bar. Does it really matter? Of course it does. I'm not going. Why? First I call and a male voice speaks to me in a very rude manner. And now I'm supposed to go for an interview in a bar. No, there's something fishy about it. It's probably a scam. Because the person who answered was rude or because you ought to have an interview in a bar. Which one? Hold on, wait. You, you said it's a private job, right? Mm -hmm. So where else do you want to have the interview? Mommy, uh, you later told me that you spoke with a lady and she was polite. What are you really afraid of? A bar is a public place. Very safe. If you're not comfortable, you can ask them to come with you. So, I want to have I really hope it's safe though. Hmm. A hmm. Yeah, I told you now. Princess, you're not dressed yet. That we are the one hosting the interview doesn't mean we should keep people waiting. Hold on. 
Do you realize I'm on the phone with Aminat? Hello, Aminat. How are you? Please, we have an interview to go to, so he's going to talk to you later, okay? Alright, bye. Yeah. You are becoming a bone in my throat. You don't expect me to go to that interview alone, do you? I need you by my side. But why are you involving me in all of this? It's, it's you, it's your thing. I know, just go inside and get dressed. Let's go. Anyway, I'm going to do this just this one time. That's it. Please. Don't please me. Thank you. Thank you too. No one knows anything 100%. I didn't say I knew everything. I only said I knew the language 100%. Whatever. Uh, I, I may ask, how many people will I need to tell him? My brother and myself. Him? Yeah. Do you have a problem with that? Uh, no, I don't. So, how much would you love to be paid for the job? That depends on how many times a week we would have the class. Thrice a week, twice on weekdays, and once on the weekend. Okay, um, that will be 100,000. 100,000? Just to teach some, yeah, I'm not guinea and stuff like that. I know what I'll be delivering, sir. Okay. We'll be paying 80,000 naira for the job, and the venue will be in our house. Your house? Yeah. Why? Do you also have a problem with coming to our home to teach us? Or you want us to come to your home or even your bedroom? I don't have a problem with that. Please, can we get the next person? Okay. Um, I'm going to call you when you get the job. Look, I don't like her. I prefer the other girl. But I like her. She seemed confident. We need someone thorough with the language so we can learn fast. Pride and arrogance is her first name. Who charges a hundred thousand to teach some language and even chooses the venue? Why are you so angry? You're busy tackling her. You didn't even interview her. I never saw you interviewing this other girl either. So why are you being biased? I am not biased. So you want that girl that can't even speak Igbo without adding bits of English? Well, she was under tension. People get terrified during interviews. Oh, please, Francis. Give me another excuse. Anyway, it's on you. That's all I want you to know. You can hire her if you want to, but the salary is on you, OK? That's it. Who's the next person? I switch for the next person. Yeah. How did it go? It would have gone better if not for our annoying brother. Did you get the job or not? I may have to look for another one. This one is not for me. Okay, you know Someone what? is really happy today. Well, you have no idea. Wait for me. Mm. What's going on? Mm. Yes. 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 That's what I'm talking about. Now, give me that. Yes. 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 Y
Just give me some 360. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. You know what? what? Just have it. Look at it. <laughs> this is your excitement? Is <laughs> Just look at it. Too much. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, 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 hold you on. You got the promotion! Yes, I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. But you know what? I told you you were going to get it. I yes, told you. you did. And then, hey, you know what? Oh. You're the most important person in my life. Like, <laughs> like, you. like, you're an amazing person. Thank you. Yo, now I don't know if I should call you by bell, that's your name, or I should call you a seer, yeah. or a prophetess. I don't but yeah, you see through the future. You I saw it. I have to take credit, but I have to. I have to. I told you. Wow. Now, see, I was a bit skeptical about the whole thing. I, I, I didn't know if I was going to get it. Like, <sighs> I knew you were going to get it. I knew it. Oh, you did. I did. I oh, you did. did. So, yeah, no, wait, um, how about your interview? How did it go? Okay, forget that one. I don't want them to even call my mom because I'm sure they won't. Oh, I'll just leave it. it. You know what? Hey, don't worry about that. Okay? See, w if one door closes, another door. Then it opens. Door so, hey, we're going to get better chances. Amen. You know what time it is, huh? I'm so happy. You want me to tell you what time it is? What time it is? I'm even sweating. There's no fun here. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, <laughs> this calls for what? Completed. You are right there. You are right there. You are right there. So you know what? Just pack your things and just you know wrap it up. You have to bring me out. Oh, of course I'm doing it. All on me. Oh, all on me. Oh yeah, just pack your things. Pack them. I'm coming to shop for you. Oh, pack them. My money is my money. See, there's now there's more money. You know, now there's gonna be more money. Now, just take the lead. Just shake it and go. Just go like that. Let's That's go. what I'm talking about. Jesus Christ. Uh. I knew it. When I came in, I didn't see you. I knew you must be with Clement. Hi, Mom. Hi, Clement. You're welcome. Look at them. They look good together. Mm -hmm. Hello? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Clement got a promotion today. Really? And he decided to spoil me to keep me shopping. Wow, <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. Mom, it was the help of um, Belle. She's amazing. Like, she actually spoke into this dance. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry, Mom, I didn't forget you. Oh my word, that's very thoughtful of you. Thank you so much. Yes, sure. You always treat her like a girlfriend. Honestly, you're, you look good together. Is it not better you come and pay her bright price before someone else? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You um, look good together. You know what I mean? Uh, mommy, I have been telling her every time. Telling who what? You want your girlfriend to break my head, right? Oh, there's no girlfriend anywhere. Which really? Clement. Yes, mom. No girlfriend. No one. Don't mind him, oh. Don't mind him. He has a girlfriend. And you want you want to okay. You want to break my head. Please, I want my head so intact. You've not heard that someone might have a lover, but the heartbeat belongs elsewhere. Mommy, oh, mm. let's just go in. Mm. Let's go in. Mm. Mommy is actually saying the, the right Which thing. right? Uh, hold on. Mom, thank you so much for your words. Like it's it's perfectly true, okay? Yes. And now, it's your turn. Mom, <laughs> um, guess what? What? I know you will not be able to guess. She got the job. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, oh my word. At last. Congratulations. I'm, I'm happy today. What do you care to eat? I'm ready to make it. Mommy, anything you prepare, I'm good. Let's go. Okay. The sauce that is right. Anything is so special. It's fish. Oh, I come on. Mommy, can't fish. Look at this. You're so sweet <laughs> together. Can I go to shop? I have an emergency at hospital. Oh, have you forgotten that we have the language class today? I know. You guys can start when she comes. Okay. You better call her to rain check.
Come in. The door's open. Yeah, welcome. Thank you. Um, where is your sister, please? Michelle. She has a name. Okay. Um, please, where is Michelle? For your information, she is a medical doctor, and she has an emergency to attend to. So, you might as well start up with me, and she might probably join us. Are you going to teach me standing over there? What do I need? Um, just get a notebook and a pen. Want to eat, you say, Achor of Me's in me. Um, Mr. Francis, please, you're not paying attention. <sighs> Mr. Francis. Oh. You're not paying attention. I don't get it. What's your business with what I'm doing? It's your job to teach, so teach. But it's my time you're wasting. Look, I can multitask, okay? I'm watching my show and I'm listening to you. I also know that multitasking reduces productivity. Now, let me tell you, this is the last thing you said. You said, if I'm hungry, I will say, actually, me, me, me. That's what you said. See? Agun, agum. If you're hungry, agun, agum. Agun, That's what you said. I'm hungry, right? And then you said, actually, me, me. Please, this is not funny. It's not funny. I don't even know why you're laughing. Hi. Ah. Hey. This, this attitude is just disgusting. He's so proud. It's, 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 see, it's not like that, okay? Next time, when you go there, just do what you have to do and you get out, okay? Just know that we're there after we have the money. Mm. Well, your sister is a direct opposite of him. She's different. Hmm. I think your sister is nice. Yeah, she is. Also. There's a more reason why you were not supposed to allow him to get into there. She's the only reason I'm taking this job. Because if it's for that guy, hell to the no. <laughs> Please, you I follow me home. I can't walk alone today. Uh, I follow you home? Yeah, you follow me home. Okay, in that case, let me get my phone. Just hurry. I'll be back. Please. Hi, sexy. My name is Solomon. So? Um. I've been seeing you coming around here to visit my neighbor. I really like you and I admire you a lot. I just wonder if we can be friends. You like me and you admire me a lot. Yes, I do, dear. So that is why you're calling me sexy. Oh. Do I know you? My bad. I'm sorry about do that. Do you know me? I'm sorry about that. Please don't pick offense on this. Sorry. Why shouldn't I pick offense? Tell me. I'm only trying to know you. Please, you want to know me by calling me sexy? Okay, come on, I'm sorry. Clement! I'm sorry about that, sorry. Clement, you're keeping me waiting. Okay, um, can I get to know your name or something? For what? Why do you want to know my, what will you use it for? Why do you want to know my name? I'm only trying to be a friend. I don't blame you. I don't blame you at all. Christopher, you're so fat. Hi, sexy. Ah! 
that, 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 that's all you men know how to do. You see ladies and you address them sexy, baby. Am I your baby? Am I your sexy? Why being harsh? Clement, you're keeping me waiting. You better hurry. It's all right, I'm coming. I don't blame you. I don't blame you one bit. I don't blame you, high sexy. <laughs> this is what you suffered. Clement! Oh, I'm here, ready. Just calm down. Hey, man. Hey, hey how, yeah, I don't how are you? I don't have any words for you. Okay. I really sure, sure, don't sure, have sure. any words for you. Wait, 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 wait,
Thank you so much. I got the money for last month. You're welcome. Please sit. Sure. Let me get out of Um, okay. I'm called Francis too, okay, so we can start. Um, sorry, Francis is out of town. And I know you're relieved now because both of you have never been in good terms. <laughs> And I working class lady. Yes, full time working class lady. But you were busy when you started working, so you need to understand. Sorry, sorry, no legs. <laughs> so, wait, uh, just wonder your chef for today. What's the news? Isn't that a great thing? Isn't it great? <laughs> anyway, that annoying brother of Michelle traveled, so we had fun. Mm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. We had a great time. We visited a hot house. It's very cool. No wahala today. <laughs> ah, James, what's up now? You hungry? What do you have for me? Uh, Why am I even asking? I mean, you, you don't cook. You don't have to. Why are you doing? Um, do you have anything for me? I, you know, the kitchen is there. You know what to do. I know you know what time it is. Just enter there, put things together. You have to start paying me. Because I cannot be working and also be cooking for you. You have to start paying me. How much? Give I will pay. Sleepers. I will pay. Come on, like. It's okay. Go. You better follow me. Uh, because I won't cook and you will sit there and eat. I'm coming. I'm, um, I'll be with you. I got it. It's okay. Are you sure? Yeah. <sighs> okay, you can help. This is not Michelle. She keeps sending me to buy stuff from the north. <sighs> Women are baggages. Okay. You won't blame her. Things are quite cheap there. Eh? I know. Thank you, by the way. You're welcome. Oh. Oh, bro. Oh. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm sorry I couldn't come to pick you. I was busy at the hospital. And I'm so sorry about what Amelia did. It's okay. Come in. Let's go. You can keep them. Okay. can spend the night. It's late. Yeah. Um, um, chi, e, uh, ji, go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You got that, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. It's late and it's very dangerous at the side of the town. It's actually late. Yeah, you can actually stay. Just um probably call my mom to let her know. That's good. Let me show you to my room. Come with me. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I got drinks. Um, I got barbecue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. 
told you I was coming back home. You didn't have to come pick me from the junction. Well, uh, I was worried since you slept at your place of work and that uh, you didn't call me to come get you. You need to quit acting like my big bro. <laughs> I had lots of fun yesterday mm. and Francis is really cool. <laughs> Francis? Mm -hmm. He's back. Yes, he is. He even apologized for his attitude towards me. Let's go in the way I'll give you all the gist mm. when we go in. Oh, are you busy? Busy. <laughs> busy, okay. <laughs> when it comes to you, I have all the time oh. in the world for you. Then let's go. <laughs> There's nothing like busy in the this <laughs> when it comes to you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, hi. Hi, Francis. Yes, please come. Please come. What's your problem? Um, what about the lectures? The lectures can wait. Please, urgent. What's the issue? You can just stop me here, yes. Oh, do I hear? Yes, please. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Take care. You're welcome. You too. Can I um, come up through this road? Yes, just down there. You okay. turn. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Uh, bye. <laughs> Wait for me. Let's go. What are you looking at? <laughs> Who was that? That's Francis. Um, oh, Francis. Mm -hmm. He now drops you off? He offered to drop me home, so... But I saw you and I told him to stop. Mm. <laughs> As this guy is being all nice and... <laughs> this one is over nice, <laughs> dropping you off. <laughs> don't mind him, don't mind him. Probably to make up for all the ways he has been treating me. Uh, he was the same person you said when I was annoying and all that. He Very, was... yes. Oh, he has changed then. <laughs> he has I think changed. so. Wow. I think so. He's dropping you off. <laughs> it's wow. not me, it's nothing. <laughs> I know. But... Mr. Programmer, won't you rest your brain a little? Come on. This is where I make my money from. And I want more of it. You <laughs> women <laughs> are money. <laughs> <laughs> so, how was lectures the other day? Very well. You two seem to be getting along now. She's a nice girl, by the way. Is she? Yes, she is. Or oh, don't you think so? Anyway, let me go get ready for work. Mm. See you when I get back. Ah, uh, see you. And know when to keep that and rest. Thank you for coming. You're welcome. Um, what about Michelle? She's still at work. Okay. Um, I was lonely and I needed company. Your company. Okay. Um, your, your dress is it's nice. Thank you. I like the way it, it fits you so well. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, um, I never knew you were such a sweet soul. I shouldn't have been so harsh to you. I would have been nicer. <laughs> well, same here. I never knew you were this cool. Then is. I actually missed you when you traveled. Really? I missed you too so much. <laughs> <laughs> Your lips. It's shiny. <laughs> Did you change your lip gloss? No, it's actually the same 
Nicholas. Thank you. Um, so, um, yeah, your hair. It's, it's longer. Did you do anything to your hair? No, it's... Wow, it's, it's really nice. I like it. Thank you. Yeah. Um, I want to be friends with you. Can I see? Sure. I really want to be close friends with you and even more than friends. You know, I would give up anything just to have that moment again. Me too. Good day, Mom. Good, good, good day, Ma. Good day, young man. Um, Mom, this is um, Francis, my student. Yes, uh, nice to meet you, Ma. Nice to meet you too. Your student and your boss. Yes, yes, mommy. I, sh I should get going, ma. Nice, nice to meet you again. All right, then. Uh, Thanks for dropping yeah. her off. Anytime, ma. Bye. Bye. I can see you two are getting along so well. You're even blushing like a new bride. Really? Come here. I know that look. I shouldn't have been so harsh to you. I would have been nicer. Well, same here. I never knew at the school. The thing is, I actually missed you when you traveled. Really? I missed you too so much. Until that day, I will keep on imagining you are mine. Oh, I wish that you were mine. I will give anything to make you mine. I just wish you would make my dreams come true. Get the legs. Hey, Mama. What's good? 
glad you're back. Yes, mommy. Hmm. This is your excitement. <laughs> For days now, you have been glowing and basking in ecstasy. I don't know the reason, but I love it. <laughs> and I don't want it to stop. It won't stop. So, what are those? Um, veggies for fried mm. rice. Oh, you're making fried rice for us. Who is us? I mean, there is no us, oh. Hmm. In that case, you're not cooking with my pot. My <coughs> God, don't touch any of You can't stop those. me. You heard me. Watch oh, Anna, be quick with this, please. And um, make sure you clean the table, okay? Oh, hi, Christopher. Hi, Michelle. Ah, it's today Wednesday. I brought fried rice. Wow, that's good. Well, I'm going to work. You can go ahead. What are you doing here? We're on lessons today. Oh, it seems you're not in a good mood. But well, I brought fried rice. Why? Who asked you to? Who asked you to bring me anything? Look, just get out. Stay out of this. Been harsh on me. Whatever we have is over. O B E R. Over. Just get out. I don't want anything from you. Just get out. It's over between us, okay? Just get out. This is. I said out. Look, if I go in there and come out, you'll be so sorry you know me. Don't mess. Get out. This is your plan. You are fired. Whatever we have is over. You're no longer welcome here, okay? Just get out. Get out now. I just stay out of this! Look, no, if, I, if I come back and meet you again, you're not gonna like me! Just get out! What is this? Stay out of this! Francis! Don't, 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 just stay out of this, okay? What do you mean? No, by no, no, that? no, 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 you can't tell me that, Francis. What is going on? I mean, why did you treat her that way? What is going on? Why did you treat her that way? Look. Just leave me alone. Stay out of this. I told you before. Please. I am not staying out of it, Francis. You just humiliated that girl. Why? Oh, so this is it. It's because of Aminan, right? It's because of her that you humiliated Christabel like that. I thought you were over her. Who cursed me? What did I do to deserve this wickedness and betrayals? Why do I have to go through so much pain? Why? I, I, I warned you. I suspect that you had no good intentions towards you. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. You, you'll be fine. I'm afraid there's no one out there for me. There's no one. Bell. I'm tired. I'm tired of being the man to console you whenever you hurt. Whenever you're heartbroken. Belle, can't you see your heart is safe with me? Yes. It baffles me that you have eyes, but you can't see that I love you. I have loved you. I've loved you from the very day I set my eye on you. Bill. I don't know why it's hard for you to believe that what I feel for you is real. But rather, you put me in a position where I have to console you whenever you go and get hurt. And I have to be that man to wipe away your tears. 
when you know I can, I can love you. Bill, I don't want to be that man again, okay? I, I don't know why. Anytime I want to confess this beautiful love that I feel about you, it's either bad timing that stops me from telling you that I love you. But look me in the eyes. All I feel for you is true love. It's real love. Yes. I, I love you. And I love you. I've always known that he's in love with you. How could you not even see that? I feel for him. He's such a nice guy. I don't love him that way. Give Clement a chance. I know he will never hurt you. Best friends, they say. Make best couple. You can't keep falling for people who hurt you. Who don't love you, who don't value you. You're not supposed to be here. Clement, I'm sorry. What are you doing here? You don't care about anyone but yourself. I know. I know I've been selfish. I should have known you wanted more. When you got me all those gifts, took me out on dates. But you said you have a girlfriend. I don't have a girlfriend. You told me she traveled. Yes, because you assumed I had one, so I played along. I don't have anyone. Allow me to love you. I truly love you, okay? Just allow me to just let you share tears no more. All I'm asking from you is just a chance to love you, to show you how my heart beats for you. Just you, to let you know how much I love you. Like I truly do. I Just a chance, please. But, but, but what? But you want us to remain friends? So you came on the way to uh, tell me? No, that's not it. You're a good guy. Yes, you've been there for me. You care for me. See, if it's time that you need, you have all the time in the world, OK? No. Just take your time. Clement. Just you take I don't need time. I'm here now. So many nights that I cry. Wondering why love was weak to me. My will fell apart. My heart torn into pieces. So Change everything, showed me that love is easy. You 
What is wrong? Now you're getting me worried. What is wrong with you? Are you okay? I'll be back. Where are you going to? Oh, Rico. I don't know if that's how they say it. You're not welcome here. I've, I've come to... Whatever it is that you have come to do, we don't want it. We're not interested. Now leave. Uh, please, please leave before just, I do something. Just, just let me say something. I you have... hurt my daughter and you have the God to call show your face. I have something to say. Please! please. Can you just... I said leave me? before I do something stupid. I don't want to warn you. Not again. Just let me say I something. I don't want to warn you. You hear that? What are you doing here? What? I, th I thought you said she was your boss's wife. Why are you running this with her? Boss's wife? Do you believe me now? <laughs> She's been married since then. She even have a son with him. Jesus Christ. Christopher has a son? Mm. So Mr. Sunday actually asked me to spy on his wife thinking that he actually knows that his wife is cheating. So, you know, I'm to just send a report back to him. Do you get it? And <laughs> that man is really dangerous. Um, anyway, young man, I can see you're very young and innocent. Probably you've been deceived. And that I know. I'm not going to actually tell him anything, but if you know what is best for you, just stay away from her. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you so much. I never knew. Thank you so much. Mm, it's all right. You know, just be safe. Drive, dr drive safe. Yeah. It's all right. You'll be fine. Mm, mm, take, take your time. Just make sure you drive safe. What? 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 about me. I know you were never married. And I know you do not have a son. Of course I don't have a son. I was never married. So the man I was supposed to get married to had a wife. And that's another lie. He's been long divorced. What? Yeah. Clement. I did that to protect you. How could you? Because I love you. Yes, I love you. That's not love. That's obsession. Do you know love? This is love. Look, babe, babe I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. Please. Please forgive me. Please. I'm so sorry. I should have come to you before concluding. I should have confronted you. Please. Please forgive me. I love you. It's a lie. He does I not love you. you. You do not love him. I do. I love you, baby. He does not love you. See, look at me. I, see, I love you. Okay? All that I was doing, I was doing because I loved you. I was protecting you. I was, I was caring for you. Look at, look. Just, Enough! Look, look. Yes. Mommy, you know. Enough already! Don't say a word. Not anymore. 
Don't. You don't love the girl. You know you don't love it. Why do it? You want to ruin her life. Listen to you me. You just ruined my relationship. You ruined your relationship. Did you, did you, did you, did you have that relationship? See, I love this girl. See, I would never allow you. You never loved you her. Never loved her. Come Come now. Quiet. Yeah. You never ever loved her. Okay, what are you doing here? Get, get out. out. Oh, we may ask you. Get out. Get out. Oh. Now, both of us, we're here. I know how betrayed you feel. I mean, I would never believe that Clement is capable of doing such a thing. He ruined all my relationship, Mom. It's sad. And you're supposed to feel hurt. But I don't want you breaking down again. Not for too long. We are glad that the, the, the truth came out on time. I don't know which part is the most. My best friend betrayed me. Other than man I love. <laughs> Relieved all those lies without hearing from me first. You don't have to blame Francis. He saw a wedding card. He should have asked me, Mom. He should have spoken to me about it. He must have learned his lessons. I know it's very hard. But you need to forgive him. Clement is still outside. Please. You need to talk to him. I know it hurts. He's still your friend. It's all right. My mother said I should forgive him, but I don't know how to. Look after everything you did to me. Eventually, I'll forgive you. But I can't. I'm, I'm sorry. 
I did that because I love you. I care about you. Okay. It was a fear of losing you. I didn't want to lose you. And now you've lost me forever. Yeah. You'll never get me back. Can you please leave my house? I understand. Okay. But please, one more chance just to be friends with you again. Don't. Don't go there. Don't go there. Because you were never my friend. A friend will never do this to a friend. Leave my house. Until that day, I will keep on imagining you are mine. Oh, I wish that you were mine. I will give anything to make you mine. I just wish you would make my dreams come true. So, you're not reading our email notes. It's one of the things that reminds me of her. Since you said I shouldn't go to her house. Yeah, it's not right for you to go now. Christabel is hurting. You need to give her some time. Okay, but how much time should I give her? Don't worry. I'll let you know when it's right for you to visit her. Okay? Okay. But at least you sent her a text telling her how sorry you are. Okay. You really like her. I do. I do. So called the devil. I, sh I should have listened to you. I should have come to you. Please forgive me, please. I'm so sorry.
Oh, you guys are so sweet. Please be mine. 